Howdy everybody, Brian here. This is uh, going to be a very quick little video. Less than five minutes, maybe even less than that. This is my everyday carry. It's a little SOG Trident. This is what I carry for a knife. And it's a pretty good uh, all around use blade. It's got assisted open and all that. It's light. It's got a pretty intimidating presence to it in case I'd need it for defense. Uh, you know, it's kind of nice to carry something that is uh, intimidating enough that uh, if you just pull it out, you may not have to use it. You know what I mean? So, anyway, there's a separate video out there on the SOG Trident. I don't really use a knife all that much, maybe once a day, average, twice a day. So there is I have had a little issue with the pivot pin on this knife getting loose after about 30 openings and closings which is about a month for me the way I use it now so I can live with that. Seems like it's getting a little bit better or not not getting as loose as quickly. So, um if you actuate it real quick like when I first bought it I was popping it open and shut open and shut. Seems like if that uh, arc actuator gets hot or there's friction from opening and closing several times that uh, that kind of accelerates the loosening of that adjustment so anyway in normal use it's not too bad every week or two a couple weeks I might tighten it have to do a little adjusting to get it adjusted but um, this is my little firearm I carry on a daily basis typically carrying the small of my back although Obviously, this uh, gun would be good for pocket carry. This is a little Galco pocket holster. Galtech P3AT. Also has a clip where I can carry it without a holster if I want to. Which, uh, believe it or not, you can even you can even wear this gun with uh, swimming trunks and a shirt. Just clip it in your waistband. It's an aw awesome carry gun. It's uh, Carries, of course, has a little uses a little 380 ACP cartridge. Um, I alternate jacket at hollow point and uh, full metal jacket, and my clips. It's usually two and two. Um, so anyway, uh, you'll notice the Skeltech 380. I also have a crimson tape trace laser grip mounted on there it's uh, right in the front here this black extension around the trigger guard here is the crimson trace so if I had to use the gun and I of course the sights on this gun is pretty non-existent really in daytime use uh, this is a point-and-shoot gun but in the dark uh, that uh, that little laser really helps uh, extend the uh, extend the uh, potency of the weapon and the usability of the weapon including and the range probably uh, you probably wouldn't want me to be trying to hit something that it affected your well-being if I had this gun 25 yards this is uh, still a pretty potent weapon for me uh, for some reason I shoot this gun really well I kind of have small hands, that might be why. But uh, anyway, I carry one extra clip in my pocket for that gun. and uh, So that's it. I carry uh, one in the chamber, six in the clip, six here, that's 13 rounds, 380 auto. Two carry options, the clip and the pocket holster. Usually I holster it and carry it in the small of my back. That's my preferred carry. And the little SOG Trident. Black Tenny. That's my carry knife. And I usually have a little pocket knife on me too. And I've got a little pocket knife with a lanyard on my uh, keychains. So I've also got those for small, if I needed a small knife for some reason. I also usually have that in my pocket. But Anyway, that's my everyday carry. I've been carrying this little Keltec for a couple of years now daily. Pretty much don't go anywhere without it. So anyway, 
that's uh, if I didn't carry this knife, uh, if I didn't think I needed a defensive knife, I'd probably use the little uh, Boker, Boker Plus TD, which is a three inch blade. This is close to a four inch on this one. Uh, that little Boker Plus TD is it's a real nice knife, and it's about half the weight of this. This is about four four and a half ounces, and that Boker Plus is about two and a half. Uh, it's a plain, plain edge, that one I have. Anyway, this SOG's a pretty good little knife. I was kind of, there is a couple design problems with it, like I said, if you watch the video I have on it. But other than that, really, it's worth, uh, I got this at Kmart. Not made in the United States, made in Taiwan, I think it said on the package. But uh, $49 and something at Kmart. Really can't beat that. That's a pretty, pretty good price on this knife. Anyway, it's got a little safety here because of the uh, automatic assist. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that knife too much. But anyway, that's my everyday carry. In case anyone's interested, that's that's my choice after all the different choices that are out there. I just don't like carrying a big heavy gun. And this is even this is as heavy as I want to go. And this gun's only about seven and a half ounces but then you get the bullets and the you know all that in there and you know you're talking a lot of extra weight once you get the bullets the bullets probably weigh more than the gun does so I don't want to carry anything heavier than this I can slip this right in my pocket too without a holster if I don't have one in the chamber so it's pretty good this is a very good carry gun you can take it pretty much anywhere you want to go with any kind of clothing anyway it's been an excellent firearm too I, Took about 200 rounds to break it in. I had some failure to feeds for the first couple hundred, but I've probably put uh, about 1,500 rounds through this gun ever since that break-in period. No problems whatsoever. It'll take just about anything. So anyway, thanks for watching.